9% of people in the UK achieve their childhood dream jobs, right? Which is a big ouch, really, if you think about it. Because that's like saying, this row here, and maybe you, you, you you're going to get your dream job. But um, the rest of you, I'm sorry, you're not. Um, bit unfair, right? The fact that it's only nine of you, or nine percent. The fact that you didn't even have a choice over it, because I'm doing the choosing here. And the fact that it's only going to get worse. This does affect you. So what is this? This is social mobility. This may be something you know a lot about, or like us, until a few months ago, we didn't really have a clue. Social mobility is the ability to move between social classes, whether that be through work, wealth, or education. For being such a simple idea, it's a huge problem in our society. And as you can see on the slide now, the chances of a child from a poor family enjoying higher wages and a better education than their parents is the lowest in Britain than any of the other Western countries. And if you sit, sit and think about it, it's not very good really. Why does it always seem that it always benefits the rich and oppresses the poor? What I think seems unjust is the fact that only 7% of the population attend private schools, yet they account for 71% of senior judges, 43% of newspaper columnists, and 36% of cabinet ministers. All of this is pointing to the idea that social mobility is limited in our society. And most shockingly of all, Oxford University says that it is getting worse. Shouldn't we all be asking why? Why is social mobility so bad? Why can't we get the jobs that we want? But most importantly, why does social mobility affect us? With all of that in mind, we work together to come up with some research of how social mobility affects people uh, in our local area and together made a campaign video to raise awareness for this problem. Here's our campaign video. You can't do something because of where you live. Some people have a lot more than others. It's the way that you move between classes. I think some people are hindered, possibly by financial situations. I want to be a doctor. Well, actually, I wanted to be Prime Minister. Archaeologist. Dolphin trainer. I wanted to be a vet or a physio. Astronaut or something. Professional athlete. The person that put Jaffa in Jaffa cakes. I'm a carer. Plus 16 coordinator. I'm a school teacher. Don't give up. There's belief. Persistence. I'm not aspiration. I'm giving that belief, no matter where you come from. Everything should always be fair. I actually was told at school, don't be silly. Why not? 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 Why? Why? Why not? Hashtag why not? As you can see, it is in fact possible to break the mould of social mobility. However, only we together can do something about it. So why don't we make that 9% of people 10, 20 or even 50%? To do this, we're going to need your help. We need to make people aware of what social mobility is and how it affects them. And once we make people aware of this, then it's open to change. And we want to start this change. So in order for that change to happen, we need you to help, and as you've been doing throughout the day, can you follow us on Twitter and just hashtag why not on Instagram and Facebook, share the video just to raise as much awareness as we can for this. So would you like to do that now if you can? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone get the phone down. If you go onto the Facebook page, it's called Shouldn't We All Be Asking Why? Hashtag Why Not? And it's got the link to the video on there. So if you could all, if you don't mind, like or share the video on Facebook or anything on Instagram or Twitter just to get the message out there. Thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs>